In the vast tapestry of television history, there exists a vintage gem that once illuminated our screens with an ineffable charm, leaving an indelible mark upon the canvas of pop culture. Picture this, a city shrouded in shadows, a skyline adorned with enigmatic architecture, and a distinctive symbol emblazoned against the night sky. As you journey back through the annals of time, let your thoughts wander to that very first encounter with the iconic 1966 TV series, Batman. Can you recall the sensation that swept over you as you embarked on this thrilling escapade? The allure of campy capers juxtaposed against a crime-ridden backdrop, punctuated by vivid bursts of color and larger-than-life characters. Ah, but what truly lingers in the corridors of memory are the moments that etched themselves into your consciousness like riddles waiting to be unraveled. The wry banter between the dynamic duo Batman and Robin as they danced upon the precipice of danger with unparalleled wit. The unforgettable gallery of rogues, each more eccentric and flamboyant than the last, brought to life through performances that straddled the line between the theatrical and the absurd. And who could ever forget that exuberant theme music, a symphonic embodiment of all things heroic and whimsical. But let us not tarry in reminiscence for too long, for the bat signal calls us to a new destination, random facts that illuminate the backstage secrets of this beloved show. Did you know that Adam West, the man behind the cape and cowl, embraced his role with such sincerity that he refused to take off the bat suit even during breaks, all in the name of preserving the mystique? And speaking of mystique, the show's distinctive visual style was achieved through a deliberate use of bold, pop art-inspired aesthetics, weaving a visual narrative as captivating as the plots themselves. As we peel back the layers of time, consider how this series not only entertained but also paved the way for future interpretations of The Dark Knight. A legacy that endures, casting a long shadow over subsequent adaptations and reminding us that beneath the veneer of camp lies a cultural touchstone that continues to inspire and intrigue. So there you have it, a glimpse into the realm of the Cape Crusader that transcends generations and sparks the fires of nostalgia in the hearts of fans old and new. Now, dear reader, as you traverse the corridors of your own memories, conjuring visions of that fateful encounter with the 1966 Batman series, I invite you to share your thoughts, to unravel the threads of your recollections, and to immerse yourself once more in the delightful escapades of Gotham's finest. Dynamic duo and daring villains, unveiling the enigmatic Mr. Freeze of 1966 Seconds Batman series in the riveting realm of the 1966 television series Batman. Where capes swirled and Gotham's fate hung in the balance, one villain emerged as an embodiment of chilling complexity, Mr. Freeze. A frosty nemesis, he mesmerized audiences not only with his icy schemes, but also with an intriguing casting conundrum. Unlike his fellow antagonists, Mr. Freeze experienced a trifecta of transformations, each actor infusing a distinct essence into the icy persona. George Sanders, Otto Preminger, and Ali Wallach deftly maneuvered through the character's frosty facade, each leaving an indelible mark on Gotham's frostbitten foe. This unparalleled portrayal evolution echoed Catwoman's multifaceted allure, with Julie Newmer, Eartha Kitt, and Lee Merriweather each ensnaring Batman's attention. However, it's intriguing to note that Meriwether's portrayal was confined solely to the big screen, gracing the character's presence in the cinematic rendition. Notably, this frosty enigma pales in comparison to the chilly transformation behind the scenes. The captivating universe of Batman, it seems, wasn't confined solely to the Batcave. Many of the show's iconic props and embellishments found their way into the realms of other TV sensations. From the cosmic escapades of Lost in Space to the temporal intricacies of the Time Tunnel, the whimsical proportions of Land of the Giants, and the aquatic depths of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, the Batman legacy transcended its own confines, leaving an indelible mark across the television landscape. Yet, amidst the ensemble of eclectic performers, one artist stood out for his unique method of villainous transformation. Cesar Romero, masterfully embracing the mantle of the Joker, ingeniously painted over his distinctive mustache, as chewing the razor's edge. A testament to his dedication, this audacious decision preserved Romero's signature look while embracing the audacious spirit of the Joker. As the bat signal fades and the final curtain falls, the legacy of Batman's 1966 series endures, a tableau of villains, visions, and veneration. 
From the frozen depths of Mr. Freeze's portrayals to the seamless interplay of props across TV realms and the whimsy of painted mustaches, this iconic show continues to captivate, enthralling generation after generation. 1966 Batman, The Joker's Mysterious Resurrections in the iconic 1966 TV series Batman. A parade of peculiar events wasn't limited to Gotham's caped crusader. Cesar Romero's enigmatic portrayal of the Joker was laced with an uncanny routine. A routine that would later mirror the capricious escapades of his comic book counterpart. In two mesmerizing episodes, Catwoman's gravity-defying fate was mirrored by the Joker's recurring vanishing act. The nefarious villains, seemingly plummeting to their demise, left audiences breathless. Yet, like clockwork, they would reappear unscathed, as if taunting the laws of both physics and narrative continuity. The audacious trickery, remarkably, transcended the screen. Within the pages of the comics, the Joker perfected this art of feigned mortality, perpetually leaving readers guessing. The grim punchline, of course, was his inexorable return embracing chaos with every cackling step. But a concealed tale lies beneath the painted smile. Adam West, the Batman himself, unraveled a behind-the-scenes anecdote that illuminated the man behind the cloud. Cesar Romero, the green-haired enigma, bore a personal artifact while embodying his role. An elegant watch, bestowed upon him by the President of Mexico, adorned his wrist throughout filming. In the episodic dance between life and death, the Joker's antics didn't simply captivate Gotham, they ensnared even those who gave them life. The dichotomy of Romero's own history with his ephemeral accessory, a stark contrast to the Joker's enigmatic vanishing acts, adds yet another layer of intrigue to the timeless enigma that is the 1966 Batman series. And so, within the walls of Gotham and beyond, the echoes of deception and resurrection persisted forever etching the Joker's mystique into the annals of television history. DC legacy cameo, Adam West struggled beyond the cowl in the realm of masked crusaders, where capes and cowls define the hero, a peculiar meta-story unfolded in the 1966 TV series Batman, capturing the irony of fame's constraints. The episode titled Beware the Grey Ghost offered a unique glimpse into the tangled web of typecasting within the superhero genre. Adam West, immortalized as the titular Dark Knight, embarked on a self-referential odyssey portraying Simon Trent, an actor who once donned the mantle of the Grey Ghost, a superhero from yesteryears. Yet, the bitter twist of fate left Trent's career in tatters, a poignant commentary on the legacy of larger-than-life personas. This phenomenon, coined the DC Legacy cameo, revealed the intricate interplay between actors and their iconic roles, often imprisoning them in a celluloid time capsule. As Trent lamented his inability to escape the spectral shadow of the Grey Ghost, one could not help but draw parallels to the real-life struggles of actors who find themselves forever tethered to their momentous portrayals. A not-so-subtle reminder that even heroes grapple with their own unmasking, but where the Grey Ghost remains an evocative chapter in the annals of Batman lore. The episode's exploration of Trent's hardship elegantly wove into the fabric of Batman's narrative, infusing an air of poignancy and introspection beneath the flamboyant facade of Gotham's crime-fighting duo. And while the series may have concluded, the resonating legacy of Beware the Grey Ghost endures, a testament to the nuanced storytelling that elevated Batman beyond its campy visage. In the grand tapestry of television, this DC legacy cameo shines as a testament to the ever-relevant conundrum of identity, both on and off the screen. Adam West's portrayal of Simon Trent serves as a quiet reminder that even heroes, whether clad in vibrant spandex or everyday attire, can find themselves ensnared in the unforgiving grasp of fate. Madge Blake's unexpected departure shakes the dynamic of 1966 TV's Batman in a startling twist that left Gotham fans puzzled and producers scrambling. Madge Blake, the beloved actress portraying Aunt Harriet Cooper in the iconic 1966 television series Batman, found herself abruptly exiting the show's third and final season. Blake's sudden departure, shrouded in a cloud of mystery and speculation, sent shockwaves through the Batcave and beyond. As the cameras prepared to roll for the eagerly anticipated third season, tragedy struck the set. Blake, a linchpin of the series known for her endearing portrayal of Aunt Harriet, fell seriously ill, casting a shadow over the impending production. 
Die-hard enthusiasts of the show were left to grapple with the absence of a character who had become an integral part of the Caped Crusader's quirky universe. Blake's ailment wasn't the only hurdle faced by producers during this tumultuous time. Sources within the production reveal that she had begun to struggle with her lines, causing frustration among directors and fellow cast members. The ailment manifested in stammering and memory lapses, undermining the seamless flow of scenes and leading to mounting concerns about the show's quality. Yet, Aunt Harriet's fate was sealed not solely by her health woes or performance concerns. Budgetary cutbacks, a scourge that often plagues even the mightiest of superheroes, ultimately forced the producer's hand. As Gotham's budgetary belt tightened, even its most cherished characters were not spared the swing of the cost-cutting side. The show's writers grappled with how to write Aunt Harriet out of the narrative canvas. Ingeniously, they penned her into an overseas odyssey, a globe-trotting adventure that conveniently explained her conspicuous absence. The Bat family's ever-elusive matriarch embarked on a series of overseas escapades, leaving Gotham without the comforting presence of Aunt Harriet to tend to Wayne Manor's affairs. Madge Blake's impact, however, remained indelible. A fond farewell was given to her in the form of fleeting appearances in Batman, ring around the Riddler in Batman, the Bloody Tower, poignant glimpses that left a bittersweet residue in the hearts of devoted fans. Blake's legacy, one that began as an essential part of the Batman ensemble, had ended in an unexpected and slightly enigmatic fashion. Her departure served as a poignant reminder of the intricate dance between art and reality, as the Batcave's walls echoed with the absence of Aunt Harriet's laughter and wisdom. In a series known for its quirky characters and zany escapades, Madge Blake's unanticipated exit was a stark reminder that even Gotham's most enduring heroes must grapple with the unforeseen and the untimely. As the bat signal continues to shine its luminous beacon, the memory of Aunt Harriet Cooper remains etched in the annals of television history, a testament to the complexities that lie behind even the most whimsical of crime-fighting tales. As the bat signal fades into the night sky and the echoes of villainous laughter dissipate, we find ourselves lingering at the crossroads of nostalgia and imagination. The 1966 TV series Batman isn't just a show, it's a portal to a whimsical world where the caped crusader and the boy wonder dance through the pages of comic book history, brought to life with colorful zest and campy charm. Now, take a moment to close your eyes, letting the Batmobile's engine hum and the Batcave's secrets envelop you. Feel the pow and wham of each dynamic punch, and let the iconic theme song serenade your thoughts. It's more than a show, it's a piece of pop culture that has woven itself into the tapestry of our lives. Whether you watched it on a vintage television set, discovered it in the digital realm, or stumbled upon it through whispers of its legendary status, Batman 66 beckons you to reflect on the moments that made you smile, the villains that left you awestruck, and the quirky gadgets that sparked your imagination. Did you find yourself quoting Adam West's suave Batman or admiring Burt Ward's earnest portrayal of Robin? Perhaps the devious antics of the Joker or the enigmatic allure of Catwoman left an indelible mark on your pop culture journey. Whether you were a loyal citizen of Gotham or an intrigued observer, the bat signal shines brightly across generations, uniting us in a shared love for the Cape Crusader's timeless escapades. So, dear reader, I invite you to share your treasured memories and thoughts about Batman 66. What made your heart race with excitement? Which scenes still bring a smile to your face? Let's celebrate the joy it has brought us and continue to pass on the legacy to future Bat fans. Thank you for joining me on this nostalgic voyage, where we've donned our imaginary capes and embraced the whimsy of a bygone era. Your time and interest in this iconic series are truly appreciated. Reflect, reminisce, and revel in the bat magic of 1966. Until we meet again in the Batcave of Memories, same bat time, same bat channel.